If you are a Toastmaster who uses the free version of Canva for creating posters, then this video is for you. One of the coolest features of the pro version of Canva is the brand kit. The brand kit allows you to set up your logos, your brand palette colors, and the fonts all in one place and that really makes it easy when you're creating content however if you are using the free version of canva and i'll switch to my free account the brand kit is not available if you try to add logos it will say subscribe if you try to change the fonts or if you try to upload a font it will say subscribe to the promotion you can store up to three colors in the brand palette if you try to add the fourth color it will say you need canva pro what i'm going to show you in this video is how you can get the features of a brand kit without using a brand kit let's get started let's start by creating a new design and I will choose an Instagram post, which is a square design. To create my own version of a brand kit using the free version of Canva, the first thing I need to do is deal with the colors. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to create some shapes. They can be of any type, but I'm going to choose the circle. Next, I will make six copies of this circle. One circle to represent each color of the Toastmaster brand palette. There are actually seven colors, but the seventh color is already the background color of my poster, which is white. So I need only six shapes. So let me copy by Control C and use Control V to paste it. Again, Control V, and I will have six ships. If I want, I can align them using the position left and align this two by selecting all three and then say position. They are already aligned. Next, I will set the color of each of this shape to the Toastmaster brand colors. Let's start with the navy blue. The hex code for that is 004165. And this codes you will find in the Toastmaster brand manual. So I click on the shape, choose the color icon, and type the hex code 004165. One six five, and it's actually the same color. Let's go for the gray. The hex code for that is A nine B two B one. That's the silver color or gray. Next, I will choose this as the yellow color, and the hex code for that. I click on the color and type. F2 DF74 and that's the yellow. I also have a maroon color, so let me make this maroon. Choose the color and type 772432. That's maroon. I have red, which is uh, cd 202 c and the sixth color is the black color which is 000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. that's black and of course as i mentioned the seventh color is the white color which is already the background of my poster so i don't need to define a shape for white let me move this 
to the side. So I have defined the brand colors and we'll see how the shapes will help us to create a brand kit. Next, let's deal with the fonts. So let me click on the text button. And Canva has three options for heading, subheading, and text. So let me first bring the heading. Now in Toastmasters, the recommended font for headings is Gotham. But you can see here the default font of headings for Canva is Open Sans Serif. I could use this. But the recommended font for heading when you can't use Gotham is Montserrat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this font to Montserrat Extra Bold. And I will mark this as heading. So I have my font Montserrat for headings. Next, I need a font for subheadings. Let me bring the subheading here. And again, it's the same font, Open Sans, but the recommended font for subheadings in Toastmasters is a serif based font, ideally ITC Lubalin, but we don't have ITC Lubalin in Canva. So the closest I can use to that font in the free version is. Times new. So let me use this font. And so this is the font I will use for subheadings. And finally, I need a font for the body of the text. So let me bring the body text font from Canva. And it is Open Sans Light. We can use this there is no problem but i prefer to use for body the font called lato it's a very beautiful font and this is the font i will be using for my body so we have the three fonts the heading the subheadings and the body before we proceed let me just clean this up by aligning all the objects Make it look good. And finally, let me give a title to this template of mine. And let's say I'm going to use this template for creating Instagram posters for my club with challenges. So let me just make a copy of this and say this is weight challenges template. Just move it a little up. And maybe make it a little smaller and there we have it now how do we use this template as a brand kit there is still one element missing which is the logo i'll come to that later on but the fonts and the colors and the trick is not to create a new poster every time i want to create a poster let's say for quit challenges but rather to create multiple posters in the same document and the trick is to use this plus sign or use this option here called add a new page. Let's start by giving a page title to this poster and let me call it June meeting poster. I will go to the previous page by using the scroll key up here and copy the fonts into the new page. So I have the heading, subheading and the text fonts with me. And whenever I want to change the color, let's say I don't want white for this. I want the background to be navy blue. I click on it. I click on the color wheel and notice now that the document colors are all showing me the brand colors because the six shapes that I had made earlier are now being referenced so if i wanted it navy blue there i have it let's say if i want to create a shape a circle i drag the circle into my poster and let's say i want this to be the red color 
again i click on the color option and i can see with a click of a button i can change to any of the brand colors i want to change the headings to be white again click on the text color and we have the white color because that was the background of our main poster so we can now access the colors and the fonts without typing codes without searching for the correct hex code of each and every brand color that's the trick when i want to create the next poster again i can instead of creating from beginning i could even duplicate it i can say copy page and say this is the july poster and make changes so i can keep adding pages for every poster that I create for this club and I have quick access to the entire Toastmaster brand palette and the fonts. Isn't that great? The last part of the brand kit is the logos and the design elements and the way we do it is I have downloaded all the design elements and the logos from the Toastmaster website to my local computer. We can see it here. So I have all the elements on my PC and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trick available in Canva where I can connect Canva to Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive. Google Drive is free as long as you have a Google account. And what I'm going to do is I already have a folder called Toastmasters. Under that I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it logo and design elements and let me load all the files that i have on my computer to my google drive so i will select all and put them in my google drive it will take a few minutes let's go to canva and see how we can connect my google drive to canva all the logos and design elements are now loaded on my google drive and in Canva, if I go to the bottom and click on More, we can see that we have an option called Google Drive. The first time that you connect to Google Drive, it will ask you for your Google account details. I have already done that. But when I click on it, you can see I have a folder called Toastmasters. If I double click on it, I have logos and design elements. And there we have it all the elements the logos i can simply drag and drop it on my canvas if i want a call out great i can do that and that's it we now have a brand kit in our free account where we can access very quickly the colors the fonts and the logos and images when you want to download an individual poster from this document that contains multiple posters, just note down the page number and the title. So when you click on the download button, it has an option to download the entire document or let's say I just want page 3, the July poster and you are done. All the best in creating fantastic Toastmaster branded content using Canva.